Yay, so here we are in my attic um, installing ventilation for uh, two bathrooms. We've got a uh, master bedroom over here with some Bowflex insulated six inch Bowflex going to it and uh, the guest bathroom over here with six inch Bowflex and um, it's going to be this inline fan, the Fantech. Uh, it's a model FR200, I don't know if you can see that there and uh, it's going to be doing the work for both bathrooms and this is an 8 inch model so um, I had this uh, last week going to the one bathroom over here and uh, I can show you a video of what happened uh, right here reason why that happened is because I was going from 8 inch duct down to the 6 inch and uh, that was uh, creating um, probably a surplus of uh, sucking power there but what I'm installing on the fan now is uh, I think this is called a Y branch it goes uh, it's an 8 by 6 by 6 Y branch and um, I'm hoping that once I divide into two six inch conduits or pipes that it's going to reduce the amount of power and not be so um, hurricane like. And uh, I'm just installing the tape on here real good. I'm taping this sucker up so that it never comes off again. I had duct tape on here and with the summer heat it just peeled off. It fell off. so. I'm really taking the time to uh, uh, put an overkill amount of tape on this so that it doesn't come off for like 20 years. I don't want to come up here again. It, hot attics really suck. And uh, here's where my two 6 inch uh, flexi pipes are going to go. How you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Over here I've attached it to uh, those Bowflex ceiling ducts. Um, there's not much of, a, of space to attach the flexi pipe or the uh, to attach this ventilation to uh, the ceiling duct. So I put like two zip ties on there. I'm hoping that's going to hold. I think to be code, I have to uh, cover it with some aluminum tape too, and put all the bats of insulation back so it doesn't uh, condensate in the winter. Yeah, you can see the zip tie there, so I'm gonna have to put the the insulation back in there properly. Over here, you can see I've got um, like a junction. Originally, there was just a ceiling fan here and one switch, so I've kind of continued that that line for now goes over to the the fan tech and uh, the problem with that of course is now I'm going to be going to two bathrooms so I'm gonna to have to come up here again next week and rewire it for uh, uh, three-way switches in both bathrooms but I'm not concerned about that right now uh, I just want to get it ventilating my two bathrooms now originally there was a four inch flexi pipe uninsulated that caused a lot of issues. It went out through uh, a gooseneck out here. There's the old four inch. So um, I'm gonna have to get up there and cut that out and put in an eight inch gooseneck, a round pipe gooseneck, which is, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just leave that to the fall, but I just got to do it before the winter when um, you know you got to start worrying about condensation from the the hot air up here is just going to condensate when it's cold going to create a lot of problems um, I'm, my vote is to do the uh, the roof exhaust instead of the um, uh, the gable exhaust over here I think the gable exhaust would be easier but nah no nah, I, I want the exhaust going out through the roof uh, just heard too many stories about you know, people with 
trying to vent through their soffit and through their gable and having problems. So, and plus it's, you know, it's out of the way. You don't see it on the roof. Whereas with the gable, I'm going to have a big pipe sticking out and, and nah, that's just going to look ugly. Don't get skimpy when you're up here. It's like plus 30 degrees outside, which means it's probably like 40 degrees up here. But uh, attach your uh, your ventilation, your flexi, uh, as well as possible. A mixture of aluminum tape and tie wraps. You don't want to come back up here. And there we have it. Looks like a rocket launcher up there right now, but. I've just kind of jerry-rigged it up there temporarily. I'm going to come back up here later to uh, install my gooseneck ventilation on the ceiling <coughs> and uh, install my, um, my three-way switches in the bathrooms and uh, the three lead wire going each to, the, to each of the bathrooms and uh, get this done when it's not so hot. Oh. There we have our six inch conduit and a ceiling duct. It's a little less noisy than it was before when I didn't have the Y branch. Yeah, it's a little bit loud. I think the uh, inline fan is a little closer to the bathroom, closer than I would have liked to have it. If there was some distance, it wouldn't be so loud. This one's even closer, probably. So th this is the Fantech FR200. It's an older model, but uh, wow. Is it ever an improvement for getting rid of uh, all the fogging up of the windows and the mirrors in the, in the bathroom. If you don't want to have any mold or any um, uh, condensation accumulating anywhere in your bathroom, go with one of these. It's, uh, it's a good investment.